Hello YouTube. Hey guys, it's Sean with Stealing Second. Got a little fun video for you today. Just going to be going through my most recent PSA bulk order of 50 cards that came back to me. Um, there's the first 10 cards that you'll see on when I flip the camera here are from my neighbors, Josh and Maddox. So they got uh, their grades. They got hammered pretty good on a couple cards, but I'll go through that. And then the remaining 40 cards in the order were mine. So some of those are personal, some of those are for uh, flipping. So uh, let's flip the camera here, take a look at what we got, and let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, welcome back. So out of these 50 cards that I'm about to show you, the first 10 of these are my neighbors and friends, the moons. So we will go through their first 10 cards, and then the remaining 40 cards are my cards. So let's jump in. We only had one card that did not get graded and it was this, and it's a miss size uh, Michael Jordan Emotion, 9040 Emotion, which kind of stinks because I, I guess this is a pretty big card. I don't know basketball very well. Um, so I don't know. I, I know they pack pulled this, so I, I don't know if it's a factory thing or PSA just messed up or what, but that is the only card from the order that did not get graded. The next card was this 1992 upper deck mcdonald's michael jordan and it got a mint nine next card after that for the moons is this 92 ultra michael jordan near mint mint eight and this is a really nice card um they kind of went tough on these jordan cards uh, everything else in the order uh was pretty I, I feel pretty good we had a few that I, i'm not sure uh what actually brought the grades down but uh for the most part everything was pretty close to what we were thinking um the jordans are the thing they were the most tough on his the moon's next card is this 1994 upper deck michael jordan electric diamond and this is the baseball star rookies i uh, got a near mint seven that one kind of hurts it was a really nice card um, i do know these cards are extremely hard to grade especially the electric diamonds they're going to be a little tougher now any upper deck product is very difficult and always kind of keeps me uh, a little worried when going in next up after that is this 97 ultra king griffey jr diamond producers and a mint nine so i'm just going to leave those two in the background while we go or finish going through their 10 uh, just to make this video go a little quicker after that we have a 2019 tops chrome michael kopeck rookie autographs and a gem mint 10. Uh, this is a very nice card uh, maddox is the son of josh who are the moons and maddox is a white Sox collector so i think he'll be very happy to see this grade after that he has the 2019 Topps Chrome Michael Kopech Pitching Pink Refractor in a PSA 10. Very nice card. Congratulations, Maddox, on that. And I think we got some cardboard on the card there. Sorry. And then this one, kind of painful. 2019 Topps Chrome Michael Kopech pit, er, Pitching Prism Refractor. Got an 8. I don't know if we missed a refractor line on this card or something. Um, but I feel like there's something very obvious that got it to an eight that I'm not sure of. Um, if you guys see something that's jumping out at you that I can't see, please let me know. But that one kind of hurt. Maddox isn't going to be too happy about that. But this might bring up the Spirits 2019 Tops Complete Set Vladdy Fielding in a Gem Mint 10. Very nice card. Congratulations on that one, buddy. Next and final card for the Moons is this 2019 Topps Holiday in a PSA 9, uh, Tatis Jr. These holidays can be pretty hard because the black borders, um, we looked this card over pretty thoroughly. So um, I don't see any white glaring, um, maybe centering. I don't know. It looks pretty good to me, but I guess I'm not the professional. All right, so or let's jump into my 40. So we'll put one card in the background here for background music and then uh, go through these and try to go through them fairly quick. 
First card I have up is a 2015 Top Supreme Javi Baez autograph, and it got a near mint, mint 8.5. Um, this is PC card, so a little disappointing on that. I thought it looked really good, really clean. Thought I had a shot. Obviously, uh, now looking at it, I can see centering left to right is a, is a factor there. So um, outside of that, I don't know what else brought it down, but it is a thick stock card, so pretty tough to grade those. Moving on, 2017 tops, Aaron Judge catching. Got a PSA 10 on the Judge rookie. So that's PC, paper rookie. Pretty happy with that. After that, I have 2018 Tops Holiday Mike Trout Metallic Snowflake and a Gem Mint 10. And if you guys can see the flake there, it's a really sharp card. This card will be a flip card to help me pay for this order. 2013 Tops Chrome Christian Yelich update and a Mint 9. This will be a PC card. Um, I Thought maybe I'd you know I have a chance. I knew it was rough cut on this edge. I was hoping for benefit of the doubt. Uh, I think that's what what got it. Um, centering's not too bad on it. It's kind of hard to see here in the video. It kind of looks off center left or right, but when it's in person, um, it kind of doesn't. So who knows? Uh, could be centering. Could be that rough edge. You got it a nine, but either way, very nice card. Very happy. That's a PC card. Up after that. I got this 2013 Bowman Chrome Christian Yelich draft pick, some prospects, rookie, and a PSA 9 mint. And that will be a flip stock card as well. Following that is the same card. Got it in a 10 on this one. Um, the other one was the centering was just a little off. Um, I don't know how I didn't catch that before I sent it in. Thought I must have just been in a hurry and not paying too close attention. Then I have this 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. in a Gem Mint 10. I actually submitted two of these and both of them gemmed. So two Tatis Juniors and a 10. So one will be PC, one will be for flip. Then up after that is this 2019 Topps Chrome Tatis Jr. Pink Refractor. Got a Gem Mint 10 on that. So that will be PC as well. <clears throat> No more. So uh, going through here in the middle, it's going to be pretty Tatis heavy. So just to let you guys know that. This is a 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. Prism Refractor. Got a gem mint 10 on that. So I actually had two of these submitted and both of them gem. These prisms are pretty hard to get the gem. So I have one that will be for resale. And if you can see, I just see this now. I get a refractor line running right through there. One will be for resale and one will be... For PC. Following that, I have a 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. Refractor, and this one got a near mint eight. Only thing I can think of on this is centering. Um, I, I don't really know. I'll have to look at the card a little higher or harder. I just pulled them out of the box, uh, so I'm not sure why that got an eight, but that one will be for flipping. I sent in two of those as well, and the second one got a 10. So here's the 2019 Chrome Refractor and a PSA 10 of Tatis. Following that, I sent in 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. X Fractor and was able to get a PSA 10 on this one. That's a really cool card. That one will be for PC. Then I had two of these, the Topps Heritage Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019, and both of these gemmed and in 10. So pretty good there. Those actually will be for flip. I sent in two of these as well, 2018 Topps Heritage Ronald Acuna Jr. and both of these gemmed in a 10. So pretty happy about that. So one of those will be for PC, one will be for flip. Now I sent in three of these on the next card and a uh, couple I missed some stuff on. So here's the 2018 Topps Holiday Ronald Acuna Jr. First one is a mint nine. And this one will be a flip card. After that, I did have one that did gem mint in a 10 on the 18 Topps Holiday. And that one will be a flip card as well. 
and then the 18 tops holiday and an 8.5 this one i obviously missed something so i'll have to look these over pretty good and figure out what i missed Following that, I have the 2019 Topps Chrome Pete Alonzo Sepia Refractor in a Gem Mint 10. Pretty happy that will be a PC card. Next up, I have the 2019 Topps Chrome Base Pete Alonzo in a Gem Mint 10. And that one will be for PC as well. And then I sent two of these, and this one got a 9. So, um... Centering is the only thing I can think of. Bottom and the side here, just a little off, so it might be high. Um, so these are so hard to tell without having a border all the way around. Um, I try to get close, but either way, that's the only thing I can think of. I'll look them all over like stated before, but that will be a flip card. Next is the 2019 Tops Pete Alonzo. I believe this is the Series 2. Yes, Series 2 in a Gem Mint 10. This is his paper rookie. I also sent in a complete set with a, a different order, so I wasn't sure whether this was the complete set or the uh, Series 2. Uh, I don't always trust the label, so very happy about that. That one will be a PC card. Another PC card is this 2011 Tops Freddie Freeman and a Gem Mint 10. Pretty happy about that. I've been buying Freddie Freeman Raw cards for a while at shows, trying to find one I thought would gem. And I uh, finally got one. Following that, I have this 2015 Topps Chrome Avi Baez Pink Refractor in a Gem Mint 10. I bought this at a show a while back. Thought it looked really good. Really happy about this card. This is definitely a PC card. And then I had this 2018 Topps Update Juan Soto 1983 Topps Baseball Blue in a Gem Mint 10. This is another one I picked up at a local show and uh, really thought it had a really good shot. Went ahead and submitted it and uh, got the 10. These blue cards are really hard. Any color and tops paper is really hard uh, to get the gem mint. That card will be a flip card. After that, I had this 1983 tops Derek Jeter and a near mint, mint eight. Um, I sent two of these in. One got an eight and one got a nine. I have the Topps Cold, or Gold version of this card and a PSA 8. I did have the 9. Um, I sold my 9 to buy the Gold. So um, I will be at the drawing board on what to do with those. And then after that, I submitted two of these. 2005 Topps, Justin Verlander. The first one did Gem Mint. The second one got a 9. So very happy with those. The 10 will stay in my PC. The nine will be a flip card. Moving on. I submitted this 1986 Topps Traded Bobby Bonilla and got a Gem Mint 10. What's awesome about this is I bought one 1986 Topps Traded box from my local shop. And uh, after going through it, I've submitted three cards out of that box so far. This Bonilla, the Jose Canseco, and the Barry Bonds. The Jose Canseco and the Bonilla both received Gem Mint 10s, and the Bonds got a 9. So I'm very happy with this box and how well uh, these cards have been grading out of it. I might send in the Will Clark. Um, I'll have to look it over a little harder, but that is a PC card. Next is this 1996 Collector's Choice Ken Griffey Jr. Crash the Game. Uh, this is the redemption card you would send in. It got a Mint 9. Uh, so this will be a flip card. I don't necessarily collect Griffey, just his rookies. So that one will be one to help pay for the order. Next up, we have 1987 Donruss Bo Jackson and a Mint 9. I bought a box of wax uh, to rip for fun one day uh, and then pulled. This is about the only card out of the whole box I thought had a shot at grading. I knew it was a little off center, left or right. Um, you guys watch my channel before and know I'm a huge Bo Jackson fan, so I went ahead and submitted this and got the nine, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's a PC card. Nines are fine for me, especially on 80s cards. Next up is this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire 1984 USA baseball team. And this card got a mint nine. 
pretty happy about this. I've had this card for a while. I knew the centering was really bad. I was really worried about the color. And uh, so there's a couple small ink dots on here that I thought were really going to hurt the grade. Um, but they didn't. I, I was ex hoping for an 8 in this card, actually. I um, was expecting maybe a 7. The fact it got a 9 blows my mind. I'm, I'm a poet and didn't know it here. But anyways, uh, it blew my mind, and I'm very happy to have this card in my PC. Next up after that. 68 tops game Willie Mays got an excellent five. Um, I've got the Mickey Mantle in this. I really love this set. Like it's a game, um, but I really love these cards. They're they're very cool. They're pretty inexpensive uh, to pick up. Uh, the bigger names, so it's it's really cool to have something from playing days of these guys that's very affordable and uh, they they look awesome. And when you grade them, they look really good inside the slab. So. Very happy with the Willie Mays and an excellent five. That will be a PC. Moving on, 1990 Leaf, Larry Walker. Got a mint nine on this card. This one is one I packed, pulled. Um, I bought some packs at a shop they had, I think for like a dollar or $2 a pack. Um, and I bought the pack and ripped the pack and pulled the Walker. Uh, the centering I knew was way off, but I didn't have any other of these cards. So I went ahead and submitted this hoping for a nine. Um, was able to get the nine, so very happy with that. And that is a PC card as well. And then second to last card here, I have this 2018 Topps Gallery Ronald Acuna Jr. in a Gem Mint 10. So that one will be a flip card. I don't necessarily collect Acuna. Um, you know, I'll keep one heritage for my, my collection. Um, the bat down and stuff, I don't think will ever be in my collection. So this is the monster hit for me out of here. This is the 1991 Topps Micro Chipper Jones in a Gem Mint 10. Uh, this is actually my wife's card. She had a box from her childhood um, of the Topps Micro. And one night I decided to go through it and see if there was a chipper in there and if it was in nice shape. And uh, the box had never been opened. And she was totally fine with it. She doesn't collect cards or anything. So uh, I went through it and pulled this, and when I pulled it, I was like, man, it's, it's very nice, very centered. And these Topps Micro, if you know, they're very hard to find centered and good picture quality. This one looked great. So I went ahead and submitted it and got a Gem Mint 10. So i uh, very happy with this card, and uh, this card will probably be a flip card. Um, my wife would rather have the money than the card, so uh, it's completely up to her. It's her card. So guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, again, that was uh, my first PSA order back um, for this year. It took me six months to get that order back. So yeah, uh, the wait times have been ridiculous. I've got two more orders at PSA. I should have one more back um, in the next couple weeks. And it's a smaller order and then another bulk order that I probably won't see until the end of the year if I'm lucky. So um, that's what we got. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. 